get any intel from the military city there as to where Patient Zero, who was of course captured by those bandits in the AC-130, where they went to after we lost them yesterday in the fog following them in our helicopter. Whilst Pinky and Jack are doing that, I've just come across to check out this camp here, which we saw during the night. There was a campfire here, but it seems that the, the occupants have gone now. And hopefully there'll be some good gear here, because I'm going to head up across to Olsha, which is to the very northeast of the map, about seven or eight clicks from here. It's a pretty long journey, but when we were flying over it yesterday, we saw what looked like a militarized research camp at Olsha. So I'm going to see what's going on up there, whether or not it has anything to do with Patient Zero. Checked out most of the tents so far. Most of them had, he says, three snipers in this one. There's two SVD cabos. I'm not a great fan of that, though. I'd rather take the M24, I think. Because, uh, although saying that, there is actually ammo. I might just take that for the novelty. Because if you change your field of view, which I have done, of course, the, the reticule on the SVD, it doesn't actually tell you the correct distance. So I'm far better off with an M24 or a DMR. Oh, yeah. Wow, 12 mags. Uh, I'm far better off with those where I can actually judge the distance pretty accurately, even up to like, you know, a kilometre or something like that. You can get an accurate shot with that. You actually do spawn in this server with two Mountain Dews, Night Vision and uh, an M9SD. Mountain Dew, the rarest thing in the game. What was my end game? But there are now more important things than Mountain Dew. So I'm going to get away from this camp as quickly as possible and head up to Osha. I don't know whether or not you can see from here, but at the very bottom of this tower, there were a couple of zombies. And they don't usually stand still at the base of a tower unless there's somebody at the top of it. And I've just heard a couple of DMR shots from Cherno. Because I'm heading along the bottom coast and then up to Olsha. But oh, there is a guy there. Coyote backpack. I don't know whether or not he's trying to counter Sniper, whether or not he's just lost. Oh, he's got an S50. Don't look this way. Well, he saved his own life there. I don't know whether or not he's trying to counter Snipe the DMR guy, so I can't really just take this guy out in case he is actually friendly. Let's see what people say. Uh, oh, there are. Okay. Well, I, I kind of already know that because there's a DMR. There was a DMR guy. Now, if they say AS50 to this, I'm gonna have to kill this guy because I can't risk running past him. He's dead. Or not. He's down now. There we go. Oh, those zombies are up after me now. I have to back off a little bit. It's always good to reposition anyway. If you fired a couple of shots. Looks like I've worried poor little cowman. He's probably cowering in a corner of the Cherno supermarket. Clutching his can of beans. <laughs> Definitely going to stick with my DMR rather than that AS-50. Because... I can hit accurately up to about a thousand meters with this gun and you don't need any more range than that. Plus the S50 feels a bit cheap with it being a one shot kill and whoa. Seven NATO rounds. Now Dupin is pretty much non-existent anymore in DayZ and I'm very suspicious that that guy has that. I would imagine he either hacks or is an admin. Uh, so I'm going to get the hell out of here before he teleports back. I actually forgot to hide that uh, that AS-50 that that guy had, so I had to climb all the way back up the tower a second ago and and uh, hide it in a bush. Because I always do that if uh, it's, if there's a good gun, I always move it and hide it so other people can't use it on you. And there's two guys down there who look like they're flanking around to where I was just firing with a DMR. Very easy shots here. I could take these guys out, but since they haven't seen me. I mean, they're so exposed in the middle of that field. I'm going to head off. No need to hurt them. Hey, buddy. Can you hear me? 
Hello. Where did he get? Where did he go? <laughs> Zombie, did you eat him? Who oh, is there? Hey, dude. I'm not going to shoot you. It's okay. Don't pick up that gun. You can kill that zombie if you want to. But uh, stay down that end of the barn because I've got a phobia of hatchets. Are you friendly, man? Yes, I'm friendly. Do you want this backpack, dude? I don't know if you need a bigger backpack, but I've got this coyote on. Sorry? This backpack, if I just drop it, you could come, come up and get it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, thanks. Cool. That should help you out, because it's, it's probably... I think it's the biggest backpack in the game, that. Got it? Yay! <laughs> Dude, he's going to better you. Take him down, Legolas. <laughs> oh, my God. Well... I think we're going to have to abort, dude. <laughs> At least see white guys can't dance. Um. <laughs> oh my god, you have the greatest moves, dude. The greatest moves. I'm just going to sit this one out. Fuck it. I may be dancing in a wall without a head, but who cares? You got style, man. You got style. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Well, that was disappointing. I thought we were going to dance all night. Me and you, together in this barn. Even the zombies would be dancing. I don't think you really understand what went on there, or... Huh. I'm going to go now, dude. So, uh... See you in a bit. <laughs> That looks like Jack and Pingy's helicopter. Let's see what service model it. Okay, I think the zoom on those is too much. Oh, it's stopping. I didn't see anybody down there, but I wonder what it's stopping for. It's not the same helicopter. It's a different service number on the tail. But oh, he's shooting at somebody. I'm gonna stop this guy. There's only new spawns down there. Okay. Well, the pilot never showed himself, but it looks like they're going to move off now. I wonder what gun that was. I didn't know those had a... Because uh, there was a gun, a gun mounted at the front as well. I'm going to stick behind this rock. There's... Wow, that is some accurate... Look how far away he is. Maybe it was just luck. I mean, there's, they've definitely not got an... Whoa, that is close fire. I can't even see him. I suppose he might just be spraying them out. Wow, that is... Okay, I'm really suspicious now. I mean, this rock is probably not rendering on his screen, because it is a long way away, but... I don't believe that he can see me from that distance. Found myself a friend. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> I don't think he's got a sniper. I'd have to say hi to him, see what he's up to. Hey man, little bandit there, sat on the hill. Can you drop your gun, dude? Thanks, can you drop your secondary and come, and come up here towards me? You see me? I'm sure you see me. And just come up the slope towards me, dude. Just come out into the open so I can see you, that you've got no weapon. Stand up. Hey, man. How's it going? you got a very fast heartbeat. Are you panicking? <laughs> yeah, I am, dude. You know me. I don't think I've got anything, if you needed anything. But I gave somebody else my backpack. 
What are you doing up here? There's a guy down there in the uh in the uh, in the fire station. I saw you down there on the hill. I've been looking for you. And I was shooting at that helicopter because it was attacking the guy at the fire station, but I don't know where the helicopter went. Because I thought it was a hacker in it, so I aborted and then I rejoined because he was shooting at me behind that rock from like right up in the clouds where he couldn't see me. Like he definitely couldn't see me. So when I came back in, it's now stopped raining, so I don't know what the heck's been going on. <laughs> Where's your friend at? Is he down in the uh, in the fire station? Because there's a guy in the fire station. It says give you morphine. Oh, he's got a long run then. All that way. Oh well, dude. I was just making sure that you're friendly. So I'm heading. I'm heading up north. Guess I'll see you in a bit then. Have fun. <laughs> Wow, that nearly gave me a heart attack. What the fuck was that? I'm not even... Well, apparently I've been teleported somewhere and now I've got two bikes. Yay. <sighs> fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Apparently I'm deaf now or my hearing is... I don't know, just... I can... Everything's dead quiet. Wow. Somebody tried to nuke the world to get rid of the zombies. And I'm still at Zub Castle. Although I have found myself a backpack I've never seen before, although this has been in quite a while. Um, but the server restart just... I'm not a Cherno anymore. So... Gonna have to travel up north from here, I guess. Kinda like how this backpack looks, though. Uh, now, this was this is just one of the spawn points of this helicopter, but I don't know if it's gonna work or. Looks tight, to say the least. Oh dear. Uh, no, eject. Eject. Oh, I fucked it up. Well, it wasn't like I was going to fly it out of there, was it? So. I'm going to back off a bit. What the fuck is going <laughs> Might explode. Okay. But, uh, when I edit this episode up, I'm probably going to leave more in. Because... Honestly, it's not worth... Uh, I just prefer putting up gameplay as it is when I play it rather than trying to get a dead tight story out of it. I actually don't know which people enjoy, so I guess if you're watching this and I'll leave this clip in, you'll have to uh, see the rate the video or tell me in the comments whether you prefer an episode like this. Uh, I hope there's nobody around for this, although this might be a spawn point. This vehicle has got... This server has got extra vehicles on it. It's got some gear in it, though, which they don't spawn with. Unless that's something else that's modded. Um, but yeah, people people say that uh, the episode is a stage, whereas, you know, I, I literally just play in a public server, and whoever I meet is just another player in that server, unless obviously I'm going with Jack in one. And I actually do play for a story in it, and I don't really understand why you play Daisy unless you've sort of got a plan or a story, unless you're just being abandoned and killing everybody, which I don't like doing. So, you know, this should at least get me, get me to Ulster a lot quicker, though. There's still quite a long way up there. I kind of feel like Daryl from The Walking Dead with this motorbike. I wish there was actually a useful crossbow in it. Whoa. There's a guy down there. Uh, somewhere. I'm sure I saw move. There's zombies in the town and they're not caused by it. There he is. Looks like he's friendly. That guy could have taken me out, to be honest. I, uh, I lost where he went. Hey, buddy. Can you hear me? You and you spawn, did you spawn in that building down there? Because uh, that's one of the glitch spawn spots. Ah, okay. What you up to? Yes, I am. I am Frankie. People will never believe that. <laughs> You'll have to tell them in the comments that we just met. And why they don't believe it. Yeah, it is. It really is. 
That's cool. Do you want to lift anyway? Because uh, I'm heading north. Yeah, you will be, dude. You can uh, you can have a lift with me. Because uh, if you're a new spawn, you got no gear. Uh, we can go to the north. We can go to the airfield and stuff. Because <laughs> uh, get you a gun, and then I can head on head on up to Olsha. Don't wanna leave you out here. Vulnerable. <laughs> Well, well, thank you very much, man. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. Hopefully, we won't get shot, because then I, I guess I won't be. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see if I can get this guy a gun, so he's not left running about on his own. Yeah, the, uh, the old military tents from the outbreak at Starry. I'll take out these zombies, dude, and keep an eye out, and uh, I'll trust you to go and find yourself a gun from one of these these bodies up here. Find yourself a gun, dude. I'll distract them. Hopefully there'll be nobody watching us here. I'll bring up the motorbike when I've killed these zombies. Hoping there's nobody sniping down on us here. At least in the standalone, these zombies won't zigzag quite as much. I'd love it if there were some walking ones in it. Come on, man, let's get out of here. We've been here quite a while now. And uh, this motorbike's pretty loud. So, uh. Don't attract any more attention. Well, he actually knocked me off then. I know they break windows now, but. That was pretty cool. Did you see that? He just knocked me off the motorbike. <laughs> Let's get out of here, man, before he comes back. Come on, dude. Are you lagging? I'll drop you off at the barracks in a sec. Get on. Let's get out of here. Well, man, it was nice helping you out, to be honest. Uh, I've checked the far side, so there shouldn't be any snipers there, but I've got to head off now. Got to get up across to Olsha. So I'll see you in a bit, dude. Hopefully you'll survive. You never really know, though. Unfortunately, I didn't notice that the motorbike was nearly completely out of fuel. So, uh, still at the North Airfield. It's uh, just parked in the trees up there. I'm going to see if I can get some fuel from the... Uh now for half an hour. So close to the AC-130. It was literally coming in to land there, so they must have been planning on transferring patient zero. I've seen a couple of survivors, as you saw, across there. I'm going to see if I can get a better shot on them. Well, or at least use them as bait. See if that ghillie guy who shot Tommy comes out from the top of this tower. Should have a clear view across there. And a better view across the trees where the ghillie was hiding. Just radio Jack and Pinky to tell them that I'd seen the AC-130. Uh, about 20 minutes or so ago. And they told me that they'd been having some trouble at Skalisti Island from a group of bandits. So I'm going to see if I can uh, head down to them. Once I've found this damn sniper that took out poor Tommy. Hopefully... It's really difficult in the rain, and I'll also start catching a cold soon if I'm not careful. Oh, what are you doing? <sighs> Just decided to prone dive across the edge there. Where did they go? Whoa, what the hell was that? Okay. Well, that was a teleporting hacker with a minigun. That's why it takes a long time to record DayZ. Decided to, uh... Set up camp for the night. Well, I haven't quite yet. 
Unfortunately, my night vision goggles just broke, so I have to get some wood, get this campfire sorted. I really don't like being out and about, especially like this at night. And this rain is not going to help the fire. But uh, I wanted to show you something which is uh, fairly new to Daisy, and that's how you sterilize water. Something which, of course, will be in the standalone. Uh, because I don't see a lot of people doing this. I see them just drinking straight away and it can give you an infection which will make you cough and I think eventually kill you if uh, you leave it too long and you don't get antibiotics. I feel very vulnerable out here. Hopefully there won't be any zombies wandering this way. Although well, it sounds like there's nastier stuff out here. I'm going to start this campfire next to this pond because it really doesn't make any difference in the rain where I actually put it. It's going to be, I'm pretty, going to be pretty much wet all night, which won't be fun, but I have got to head down to Scalisti to, uh, to take out that group of bandits in the morning. So I do need a, uh, a good safe place to sleep during the night since I can't head there without night vision. Yeah, I'm going to keep my DMR out. Uh, but how to boil water, basically all you need is a uh, a water bottle. I've already sterilized some water so I'm just going to have a drink now but I'm going to sterilize some more and put it in here uh, so that I'm good to go in the morning. But basically you need an empty tin can, a full water bottle with dirty water which is basically from ponds. You can't fill it from the sea obviously because it's seawater and it's full of salt and it'll dehydrate you. And then you can just go to your campfire, if you've got an empty tin can, and it will boil it. So if you eat some beans, you can use the can after for that, after you've rinsed it out, and do that. And I've also found some loo roll in one of the, uh, in one of the buildings down there, so... <laughs> Might need to use that later. Nearly made it all the way down to Electro. Whoa, a helicopter. Better take cover. What? Stop running! <laughs> not my best combat roll. It's a good job I'm not a bandit or that guy would be dead right now. That's a heck of an easy shot and these 7.2mm rounds or whatever the, the heck they are in this. We'll go straight with that windscreen. But he's not of interest, need to head down and take out the bandits who are shooting at Jack and Pinky. Hello! Hey buddy! How's it going? Can you uh, drop that macro for me dude and I can come across and help you fix that tyre on that Humvee? Are you dropping it? Or put it in your backpack? Oh. You made a tent. Um. Well, that's very nice, but I'm still going to need you to drop your Makarov, dude. Can you do that for me? Are you trying to get inside the tent? Have you got any buddies around who might come and shoot me in the back? I really hope not. I can't help you with that tire, dude, until you, uh... Until you, you, you drop your Makarov. Are you actually in the tent? It's okay, dude. I'm just moving around. Are you rolling? See, I'm here. I'm friendly. Well, apart from to this zombie, but... I'm just going to shoot this zombie, dude. Don't worry. What the hell he was doing? I don't think he even knows I'm here. I've run straight across in front of him. Oh, he does. Don't, don't come up here, dude! <laughs> With your macro off. Don't come up here! Ah, I can't. 
Oh, he's actually shooting at me. Well, he's brave. I'll give him that. He's got a little sword in his pocket as well. That wasn't very nice, dude. I'm friendly. You just need to drop your macro, then I can help you. I've got gear. Hello. Oh. Oh, that was close. Right, I'm going to come and bandage you, dude. And uh, and then you'll know that I'm friendly. Oh, you've already woken up. Problems. Um, bandage yourself up, dude. I'm not going to hurt you. <sighs> so, d did you hand over your keyboard to your hamster or something? Because this is below human intelligence I'm seeing right here. <laughs> Bandage yourself, dude. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, I wasn't talking to Mike. That could be a problem. Bandage yourself, dude. I'm not going to hurt you. That's the roll button. You need to press G. Then right click your bandage. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to go. Fuck it. I don't. I just don't even. It's really annoying. I, I have to keep re-logging like every 20 minutes or so. So I don't end up losing that game. Captain Sneaky Pants. Is he shooting at? This isn't going to end well for him. There's more than one guy there. <laughs> he got owned. The NPCs. The NPCs. He just got owned by four. Well, it sounded like three or four NPCs there. There's another one after that because it was a. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That is why you shouldn't shoot on sight in DayZ. They're not characters, though, they're just in Survivor Skins. They're NPC. Oh, he's back up! You go, Captain Sneaky! They won't have seen you get back up like that. <laughs> they killed him! Oh my god. Uh, that is why you shouldn't shoot on sight other survivors in DayZ. Because you might get owned by four NPCs. Now, if you wondered how the correct way is to take out NPCs, you need to get about 200 odd meters away from them so they can't detect you. And then take them all out at once. There are four of them. So I'm going to knock all three out and then kill all three. And these aren't players. Now the girl went. And then you fire a second bullet to kill them all. And that way you don't get sniped by some NPC with an insane aimbot. There's one girl NPC left. There we go. Okay. Now when I get over there... You'll see there aren't any flies on them. You can't actually tell unless they stood about stupidly like that, which a player would obviously never do. Um, but they don't have flies and they'll only have little bits of gear, like they'll probably only have that sniper and, well, I think one of them had stanner ground, so probably an M4 or something, or an M16. So as you can hear, there's basically no flies on any of these. And this guy, he's only got one mag in his CZ. I was a hero as well. The only flies are the ones coming from the survivor who tried to take out these guys. <laughs> oh my god, what a fail. But anyway, I better head back across to Scalisti. So, I've headed across to one of the marsh areas that overlook the side of Scalisti. They provide a really good angle across about a third of the island. And I've just seen one of the bandits Jack told me about. There's a long shot to that chimney. He's, he's looking out for the other three. 950 meters. It's going to be a hard shot to make with a DMR. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So 950 is just past the end of the null dots. 
Got him. One more shot. Oh, he did die. He's fallen off the tower as well. Bullet didn't kill him that fall, will have. Feels embarrassed now. <laughs> the wildlife in Daisy. Magical humping rabbits that just appear in front of you. As do ATVs, apparently. There's also humping. What the hell? This is uh, one of the extra spawn points of this vehicle. Which is why it has no gear. And they all spawn fully repaired in this server, which is very useful. I think. Whoa! <laughs> this is like the, sh the shakiest parachute ride I've ever seen. There's, uh, there's halo jumps as well in this server, so... Basically, you spawn up in the air. Behold the Scalisti Island Bridge. Incredibly exposed this, but should be able to get across there. There's a fine tent spot there, nobody will see that. Should be able to get across with this. Or not. Oh, oh. Well. You can actually turn it over now. I did not know they'd put that in. Basically, that you can't. It looks like I could kick this thing over. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> My guy actually shouted out then. He was scared. Oh well, fuck it. Let's go across. Very exposed here, and undoubtedly those bandits will have seen that I shot that guy on that tower up there. Oh. Hey, buddy. Can you hear me? You had a bit of a Mexican standoff with that zombie. There's some fine facial hair and tactical glasses you've got there, mate. How's it going? You haven't frozen in fear again, have you? I'm just going to leave those guys. <laughs> He's probably the guy who parachuted in, actually. See you in a bit, dude. I can hear a jellycopter. Nearly at the base of that tower though. I don't, I really hope that they're not going to be reinforcements for this clan. Three guys is going to be a lot to take out. Even if I have got a DMR and the advantage of surprise. And that's if there aren't any more people checking out the city here. The helicopter's definitely slowing down. It's over to my left at the moment. Now, it looked like this guy fell off this side of the tower, but... I don't know if he's still up there, because sometimes it just glitches like that. Um, or maybe his friends hit his body, but there's no flies. Though I can hear flies now. Some flies somewhere around here. Somebody here. I don't like that bullet's gone through his back. Which may well have been the guy that I shot, I'm not sure. And there's that helicopter. I'm pretty sure that's an NPC helicopter up there. Because it always has 300 meters, that's an easy shot. Well, I say an easy shot, it's still quite a bit of travel time on that. But these NPCs, they will shoot at you. It's actually surprisingly difficult um, in Daisy, in fact, in armor as well, to hit something that's even slightly moving at more than 200 meters. Because there's a travel time, there's well quite a significant travel time even on that. 
for dead. That gunner's dead now, so... It only has one gunner in these NPC helicopters, so we should be pretty safe moving up. Find out where these bandits are, although they will know I'm here now. You hear those gunshots? Sounds like a G36, that. Perhaps a K, maybe a C. And I've just heard some footsteps just a second before. Right near the base of here, so this might be that bandit clan that shot at Jack and Pinky. If you ever get stuck in one of these towers, always go into this position here, which is just on the second flight from the top, because you can see people run up the stairs through that gap in the floor, and I don't think I've ever seen anybody come up here and win a fight. Like aim up, because I don't think they can even aim up as high as this when somebody's down below. So... This is the best. I mean, they've got virtually no chance if they come up here. Oh. Shots. That was one of the guys. That, that was one of the clan guys who just died. Somebody else is taking them out. Thought I heard a shot from there. I really don't know. Oh, that G36 again. That sounds like it's coming from that tower. Another guy just died right underneath me. But those zombies aren't aggroing over there, so it must be closer. I can never really tell with that G36. It seems like the guy who killed, or the guys who just killed that bandit clan guy, were just killed by his two teammates. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wait it out in here and see... What happens whether I hear them come up towards me? Oh. Fortunately, that thing doesn't have any guns on it, so... Whilst it's in the air, it's pretty much a sitting duck for anybody with a sniper. I'm pretty sure these guys have moved off now. It's been about five, six minutes. And I've heard some more shots up towards where that old radio tower was. And some more up there. It's the same G36 guy. I'll go and find those guys in a sec. I would imagine they probably picked up this guy's kit. No. Left his SVD camo. Hmm. So these guys must have just... Well, basically, he got taken out by some random bandit. At least that's one guy down. Two more to go, and then Jack and Pinky. Should be able to land here, get the gear to take that Ulsha camp tonight. As it seems that's where they're holding patient zero. And there is one of the bandits. Get a better shot on him from here. That's still quite a... That's a hard shot to make, especially when he's running. Over 400 meters, that's quite a delay. Well, they're both on there. Here's the chance to take them out, or at least force them off this island. I wonder what the lead on this is. There's a long shot. This is a hard shot to make. It really is. Got him. What the fuck? He's not even bleeding? That bullet definitely hit him. Okay, I really don't know. That hit that guy in the leg. So that guy should have broken legs, and the other one should at least be bleeding. It's near impossible at that kind of range. There must be 500 meters down there to hit them. That's so much travel time. Well, that is disappointing. Both of those guys got hit. And I would imagine they're just going to take this chance to abort. You know, it's over 500 meters down there. That's if they're stood still, that's an easy shot. If they're zigzagging like that, what with what appeared, shall we say, to be lag. So it's about 20 minutes later. I've relogged because I do so every 30 minutes or so. In fact, somebody's stealing my ATV. That is. 
never going to hit this, I don't think. It's too fast. That one might have if the tree wasn't there. However, the bridge has changed. Um, maybe it just wasn't rendering in at that distance. Managed to pick myself up a uh, an assault pack as well. Which is uh, a pretty cool looking one, to be honest. The British assault pack has got 18 slots in it. Decent size. Sounds like our little Grand Theft Auto in friend is coming back. How stupid. <laughs> that hit him. One of those definitely hit him. There we go. Hey, buddy! Oh. Huh? Ah. <laughs> He must have woken up while he's knocked out. Look at him go. Come back. I'll heal you. Right, now he's knocked out. That first bullet must have missed then. I don't know anymore. Sometimes it shows a hit and then it doesn't do anything. Oh. Where did he go? Surely he can't have driven off. Maybe he was one of those guys who died. Hmm. Inconspicuous tent is still being inconspicuous. Oh, he's in the water. I can hear him. Damn, he died. It must have been Pocket Rocket. <laughs> what a name. Uh, oh. What a boss. He could even drive an ATV lying down. If you watched any of the previous episodes, this is our base. Welcome. Our home. The home we forged. Now there should be some vehicles here. Because, uh, we keep some here. A little fleet of cars maintained by the, uh, the house staff. The base staff that we have. Uh, so I should be able to get a quick ride up to the trading center that's north of here. Not for any particular reason. Um, but Jack and Pingy just wanted to see what was up there. Because, uh, as I say, they, they're collecting some gear from Scalisti Island. Ready for the attack on the base tonight. Where we think Patient Zero is being held. Uh, so I'm just going to get one of these cars and then drive up there. I think Jack said he'd left his razor in one of them. He'll be too stubbly. Not that they really matters. He's got a zombie face. The razor's probably going to take off half of the flesh on it, but... Oh well, this is our little fleet, as well as Terry the tractor, the tractor that survived. I'm going to take the golf, because I might be able to pace with somebody in the back. <laughs> right then. The reason I'm shaking. I'm only on half-blood. I'm about to buy some zombies on the way up here. They thought I was food. I showed them otherwise. Let's get out of here. But if you want to come and visit, this is our base, so uh, come and say hi. If we see you in rage without with a with a weapon out, though, make sure to put it in your backpack. We might think you're hostile. Zombie bodyguards as well. They will try and eat you. <laughs> I'm gonna head up to the trading center. And there it is. The trading center. Safe place for trade for survivors to trade with each other. You can also kill wild animals and take raw meat there. And uh, if you don't have anything worth trading, then you can get stuff there, purchase it from the people who run it, and uh, they will give you weapons, etc. In place of that raw meat. Because who doesn't love a bit of raw meat? But I've never been here, and I hear they shoot on sight if you pose a threat. So I'm going to put my guns in my backpack and, and in the car. So. I'm unarmed going up there. I don't know if there's anybody staffing it at the moment. I guess we'll have to see. A little bit more raw meat here. That is, after all, the only currency you really you really want in a zombie apocalypse. Money is not much, not much use. Raw meat and guns. They're the only things you trade, as well as my broken night vision goggles. This is a long and windy road. I feel surprisingly secure here, though. I mean, this thing is really well set up. Looks like this is the main gate up here. Snipers in the towers. 
be stupid if you're a bandit attacking this place. Right, I've got to stop here. I don't know what weapons they have. I can hear a helicopter somewhere as well. I don't know if there's going to be anybody around. Oh dear, so there was a crash in the back. Doesn't look like there's anybody manning the gate apart from that zombie. This is one impressively built place. Hey zombie! Wanna be friends? Can you let me in? Please! Whoa! God. Again. Somebody tried to nuke the world again. <sighs> oh my god. Fuck it. I'm just going to go in. If this place is going to get nuked, it's going to get nuked. Well, that actually killed quite a lot of people. Jeez. Can't get through here. These actually look like parking spaces, but huh. well, I actually got an admin warning there for saying "holy shit." <laughs> of all the things, fuck the hackers. We'll warn you about your bad language. There's definitely a helicopter around the back of this place somewhere, and it looks like it's completely deserted. Well. There's nobody here, so I really hope Jack and Pinky have managed to get enough gear from Scalisti for tonight's operation against Olsha to uh, see if Patient Zero's there. He's on me. Still there? Whoa! Uh. Okay. Ah, I'm blind. Well, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I've got permanent night vision. Every time I look at that damn zombie, something explodes. I'm not looking at him anymore. Oh, he's coming back to me. Holy smokes. <laughs> look at all the ash falling from this guy. I think I'm going to go and see if I can find that helicopter around the back. Maybe there's somebody piloting that who can tell me if there are any weapons here to trade. Hopefully. I don't know what this helicopter's doing, but it's been hovering here for ages. And it's not an NPC one. I hope there's no more explosions. They, they're they taking years off my life, I think. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be... Or is it coming down? Maybe it's coming down to me. Or not. Ah. What? What the fuck? Well. Life was apparently too much for me. Better rendezvous with Jack and Pinky then. Thank <laughs> you.